Hey everyone, this is Shani and I just wanted to give a post-workout review. My goal for jumping today was 45 minutes, but I actually stopped at 40 minutes. So I still think I did okay, just five minutes short, but I included a stretch and warm up in the exercise. So I think I met my goal today. I was a little bit apprehensive because I have not jumped in several months. You know, it's been a really long time because I had, you know, gained some weight. And in my experience, it's really hard to jump and to go a long time if you have a lot of extra weight. So I knew I wanted to use my good trusty bike here to, you know, slim down first and then gradually work my way back into um, jump, roping, jump roping, which I really love. It's, it, it helps you with your breathing. It just makes you feel so good all over. Like your, your, your mood just goes through the roof. You're really feeling so positive after um, you jump rope. So jump roping has been a true blessing um, for me because it's a really good way to get in shape really quickly, but also it's a great um, stress reliever. So I'm interested to see what you guys are doing or have been doing to really um, honor your bodies, you know, because it's so important, especially during COVID-19. We often take our health for granted until we don't have it anymore. So, you know, if you are, you know, not motivated to get up to work out, feeling depressed or sad, just think about your why, which is what I've been hearing a lot of other people say to me, you know, just through various forms. Think about your why. Why are you trying to get in shape? Why are you trying to lead a or live a healthier life? And it may be because of your parents or your grandparents or your children, your spouse. But most important, you know, importantly, do it for yourself, you know, we are our own best advocates. I'm a social worker and we are our own best advocates. You have to advocate for your well-being and you have to be selfish with yourself, you know? And sometimes we feel guilty about doing that because we have so many other things to do, but it is okay to be selfish with yourself, to take time to honor your mind, your body, and your spirit because, and why I wrote the sheet devotional, when those areas are out of sync, you know, we, it just goes downhill really quickly for a lot of us. And so take time for yourself. Do what you need to do to stay in shape. I'm going to continue to try to um, jump rope and, you know, work my way up. I'm not going to put so much pressure on myself, you know, because when you, you start a race, you can't just go in and, and run that whole race in five minutes. You have to gradually work yourself back up. And so that's what I'm doing. And I would encourage you to do the same thing if you're trying to, you know, reset your body, your mind and your spirit. Give yourself grace every day. Take baby steps. If you didn't do something today, okay, make it intentional to do something tomorrow. So that's my message for you. Hold me accountable, okay? And I'll hold you accountable as well. And I'll post a link if you're interested in a cable rope. Now, you may have to work your way up to a cable rope. And I've been jump roping for a few years, so I'm familiar with this type of rope. Um, but pick up a jump rope if you're interested. I love jumping. And so I'll be posting a video to Fit Vegans Rock on Instagram to ask Dr. Shiny on YouTube and Instagram and probably a post something on my um, Twitter, which is ask Dr. Shiny. But anyway, those are my platforms, but take care. Thank you for watching this short video. And I just really hope you have a wonderful day. Also, get your gallon in. If you go to Fit Vegans Rock, our Instagram, I posted a recipe for our um, detox water. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm having a little breakout and I'm trying to get my skin back. Uh, to a glowy state. But okay, take care. Do something well for yourself. Be blessed. Bye.